What's going on out there, everybody? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back today with a gift cards to friends two player method. Really easy, all right. I know I said that I didn't want to post these in the future, but this one is insanely easy. Uh, we've been going back and forth doing this one, so yeah, shout out to BMX man for always helping me out with these tutorials. Uh, we have found this pretty easy, and we have basically mastered it in only a few minutes. Like the first day we started doing this, we mastered it really. So uh, yeah, shout out to the founders, man. Uh, you know the guys at Fart Crew, the guys over at Macclesfield's crew. Uh, you know, shout out to all of you guys, and thank you so much for giving us this glitch from day one you guys have been working hard on it just remember what this glitch is about man giving cars to friends helping people out that's what makes this glitch great okay so uh what you're gonna need with this glitch or for this glitch i should say is um you guys both have to have bunkers you know same one preferably mocs with the personal vehicle storage i recommend an rh8 in there uh don't sign in as a ceo or an mc and obviously the car to give if you guys are giving uh, cars for a money glitch, then make sure it has a custom plate on it. Make sure it's a Benny's upgraded vehicle and make sure as well that you change the custom plate on it after you get it. OK, that's very important. Now, uh, yeah, so obviously we're going to be giving a modded car. We're giving modded cars to each other here. And what you see me doing, I recommend both you guys do this. Go ahead and hide every single one of your weapons except for your proximity mines, okay? You can do this method with stickies as well, but I recommend proximity mines because it will be a lot easier and you're going to see why. Okay, let me tell you, this method is awesome. The only two things you got to master is spamming a door handle and uh, throwing bombs from the car, okay? But let me tell you, this stuff is as easy as it gets. This should have been the method that was out, you know, way before in the beginning. I don't know how we started off with a three-player method and now it's become way easier. But uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm basically just hiding every single one of my weapons. The only ones are the uh, melee weapons. The only ones I'm not hiding are definitely in the melee weapons, or explosives, I should say, and that's going to be the proximity mines. I ended up still having somehow my Molotovs, uh, but yeah, so all you want to show are your proximity mines. I recommend both you guys do this, so when you guys switch off and you guys are giving each other cars, you guys are ready to go, okay? So just make sure you do this to your weapon loadout. Uh, you know, if you have one in your bunker, you know, do it in your bunker. If you got one in, uh, in your CEO office, go ahead and do it in the CEO office. It's up to you. The MC Clubhouse has it as well. So this is the perspective of the guy giving the car for the most part, okay? So as you can see right here, I'm gonna be giving BMX this T20. So I'm gonna go ahead and drive into my bunker right here. Make sure you just drive in, don't bring him in there with you, just drive in by yourself, okay? And once you've gone in there, you wanna go ahead and shoot him an invite. All right, so you're gonna drive in by yourself. Here I am right here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure, like I said, you're signed out of everything. I just, you know, I just shot him an invite into the bunker. I'm signed out of my MC. He is signed out of everything as well. And that's how you want to be starting off this glitch. Make sure nobody is signed in. You do not need to be signed in for this, okay? So this is the one one of the things you got to master, and I'll explain to you what you're doing here. So as you can see right here, BMX, he's going to be getting the car from me. He needs to spam this door handle, and you're going to see how he does it, okay? So on uh, Xbox, we're spamming Y. PlayStation, you guys are spamming Triangle. But as you can see right here, he's going to start spamming it. He's just going to start pressing Y. But you don't want to just spam Y. What you want to do is right when he grabs the door handle, pull back on the left stick. So it's Y, 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 pull back, Y, 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 pull back, basically, is the way that it's going down. So once he's gotten a good rhythm, and make sure he's doing it fast, you got to be doing it quick, okay? So once he knows he's got a good rhythm, just stay there for a few minutes and, you know, just practice that. And you want to go ahead and jump into a job, okay? The guy uh, giving the car is jumping into a job. You're backing out. When you back out, make sure that he's got a good rhythm or the car's going to despawn. So you see, he's still spamming. I'm going to go ahead and hop in my car. And then once I've hopped in my car, he can go ahead and stop spamming. I move over to the driver's side, and there we go. The car is in everybody's bunker. That's literally how you get the car in everybody's bunker now, guys. No starting up crazy jobs back and forth. Session is private, detailed, none of that stuff. This is it. The car is in everybody's bunker now. This is the car that I'm giving him. Car is in everyone's bunker. He just has to spam the door handle when I back out of the job so it doesn't despawn. And there we go. That is the first thing that you guys have to master, which is really not difficult whatsoever. Okay, so now the person giving the car, which is me, I have to go ahead and I have to get guns in the bunker. Now, we all know this is the old method, uh, you know, that Cesar came up with. Really easy, let me tell you. Just, uh, I would recommend if you're on PlayStation, it's super simple. Just make sure you're ready to go join game, uh, in your friend, you know, on your friend's name from his job on the in the PlayStation, you know, menu. 
and uh, yeah, the PlayStation dashboard, so that when you just double tap your PS button, you can go straight to there. On Xbox, you got two things you can do. This is the one I recommend doing, all right? Because we're, you know, I'm all about Xbox, man. This is what I recommend doing as an Xbox player. So I'm ready to get guns in the bunker. I went ahead and I told BMX, the guy getting the car, I told him, go ahead and hop into a job. When you're ready and you're in the job, I'm ready to go. Spam me three invites through the party, okay? So when he spams me those three invites through the party, the way my internet connection goes, I can accept two invites and walk into the circle and I'll get guns, or I'll get the alert. So check it out. I accept one invite, I accept two invites, and now I walk into the circle, accept the third. I didn't even need to accept the third. I got the alert, I pressed A, and I told him back out of the job. Right when I got the alert and pressed A, I told him back out, you're gonna get that second alert. It should spawn you back down like this in a default bunker. If you don't try to take out your weapons, if you're not signed in as anything, you should not get kicked out, okay? And just like that, I can hop into my T20, that's, that's a glitch in everybody's bunker, and this is the other part you gotta master now is throwing bombs from the car. So right here, I was just seeing what I had and I needed to fill up on some ammo. So here are the two different things you need to do. But first, go to your controls, go to settings, controls, and then you wanna go all the way down to where it says drive-by control type. Switch it to just fire, okay? Once you have that done, what you wanna do is, here are the, the two ways that you can do it. You can either, you know, press X to scroll through your menu and this is why we, you know, emptied out everything so you don't have to scroll through it a lot. But you can press X to th scroll through your menu, and when you land on proximity mines, you can go ahead and then when you press left bumper, I believe that's L1 on PlayStation, when you press and hold that, his hand will come out of the car. You see how he just broke open the window? Yeah, the hand will come out of the car just like that, and then if you tap X really quick and then let go, he should throw it. That is the harder way. The easier way that we have found is make sure you're unarmed. So you see that fist when you're switching through weapons, it says unarmed. If you do that, then all you gotta do is hold the left bumper or L1. So he's just like flipping off, you know, you know, outside the window or he's just holding out a fist, whatever he does outside the window. And if you just continually keep tapping X, once it lands on proximity mine, you let go of left bumper and he'll just toss it. Okay, that is the easiest method. We've been doing that recently and it has worked, okay? So you can do either one of those methods and you're gonna see he'll toss it, okay? So those are the two methods. You're gonna see me toss it right over here. All of a sudden, and you wanna kinda aim it around at that light, I'd say more in front of the light so that it's right by the MOC and there you go. See that? He tossed it right there. So that is the way that you wanna go ahead and do that. Park the car back over there close to the entrance and you want to walk away from the bomb so that it doesn't despawn. If you're too close to the bomb when you do this part as the guy giving the car, it will despawn. So at this point, BMX is outside. He requested his RH8 from his MOC. He's ready to go into his bunker. I have to do the story mode trick down on the D-pad, select a story mode character and back out. He sent me an invite to his bunker. I went ahead and accepted the invite to the bunker. We did the story mode trick so I wouldn't get caught on a black loading screen. And you see right there, he's ready to go. He has his RH8. He's, you know, he's ready to do this. The bomb is over there, the car is still here, and I'm here to help him. So go ahead and hop into the RH8 with your friend who you're giving the car to, and now go ahead and actually register as a CEO, hover over retire, and we drove really fast into it. I recommend creeping up to the sticky bomb, and right when you hear the beep, 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 right when you hear that, or it's not sticky, proximity mine, but right when you hear that noise that it's about to explode, smash right on the D-pad. And that's what you want to see. The bomb explodes, that happens to the MOC, and then your brake lights are flashed just like that, and they're just stuck like that, okay? So, he's frozen right now. Person helping him get the car, which is me in this scenario, I'm gonna go ahead and retire as a CEO. Once I've retired as a CEO, I'm just gonna get out of the car just like that, and then this is important, this is what you wanna do. There is a way around it, but this will just make it 10 times easier, guys. Go ahead and open up your interaction menu, go to vehicles, go to vehicle access, put it to crew, back out of the interaction menu, go back to vehicles, put it to everyone, back out of the interaction menu, and then go ahead and start up a job. Now, I know for sure, if since I did that, he will be able to get into the car. If you forget about that, you can just do the spamming you know, trick just like we did in the beginning and it won't despawn. So as you can see in the top right, that's what he's doing. He's going online, players, because he's stuck on, you know, he's frozen right there behind the MOC. He's gonna go ahead and go to my name, hit join game, and then he's gonna get the session is private alert, which will kick him back down. Make sure the person giving the car right now that's in the job, you stay in the job until he has that car in his MOC. 
okay? So as you can see right here, person giving the cars on the main screen, still sitting in the job, person receiving the car, just got out of his RH8, frozen, and now he's gonna go ahead and drive up to the bunker doors, to the corner, just drive right there, and then boom, you get sucked right into the MOC. And that's how it goes, guys. Now, the friend in the job can go ahead and back out once you're in the MOC, he's good to go. And that's it, you have given your friend a car and then you guys just switch roles. That's basically it. Um, when you're in your MOC, if you wanna go ahead and drive out with that car, all you gotta do is do the story mode trick, you know, story mode character, back out of the alert, get in the vehicle, and then you can go ahead and drive out of your MOC and uh, you can either go right back into your MOC if you wanna save it right away or go ahead and go to LSC if you're using this as a money glitch. So take your Benny's vehicle and then go change the plate on it to something you got and then you have a clean duplicate ready to sell, okay? So that's basically the entire glitch, guys. I told you super simple, which is why I posted it. This is as easy as it gets, man. We have mastered this. We're doing literally a car every five minutes. Uh, our our respawning a vehicle has, you know, the countdown for it. Sometimes we still have to wait to call up another vehicle. That's how fast we're doing these cars. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. And if you did, make sure to slap that like button by hitting the blue thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new by hitting that big red button. And turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody.